Welcome back to Rogue Trip, our vacation through apocalyptic America. Escapism in Let's Play form. Uh, 2012 just seems so distant right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, um, we're seeing a new character, no more Wienermobile. <laughs> we'll be fighting the Wienermobile plenty, but... Uh, Wienermobile. Yeah. We're now destroying Angel, a school bus that is inexplicably driven by a nun. Uh, Second to none. I'm pretty sure that uh, nun outfit was not provided by the church. <laughs> Unlikely. I just think it's really inappropriate that we've selected her and now we're going to Daddy Wood. <laughs> <laughs> this game is very sexual, so uh, it's it's going to be inappropriate every video. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about that. I just feel like I need to go bathe in an entire vat of germ gel. <laughs> well, well, why oh, is she know. driving a school bus? Shouldn't it be some school-related person driving one? Or... Yeah, I know. I mean, in America, nuns are very often school teachers. Catholic schools oh, are Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, yeah. I forgot about the Catholic school. Yeah, I imagine schools. it's supposed to be a Catholic school thing. But isn't that a public school bus? It is, yeah. It, it doesn't fit thematically, but I think that's <laughs> what they were going for anyway. I'm going to say this is a case of it makes as much sense as anything. So. Yeah, as much sense as it needs to. They could have used a hearse or, you know, there's a bunch of religious vehicles, I guess. Or is it just a hearse? Yeah. Which is that? I think maybe they didn't want to reuse any vehicles from Twisted Metal. True. So hers is out. Huh, Could have used like a uh, one of those um, minivans, um, like twelve seats or whatever. You know, like cults use. Ooh, or uh, the um, uh, mega church uh, bus. Yeah. Those are probably too big. Those are very, very large. Yeah, this is more like a minivan than anything. Yeah. So I didn't realize until just there that these cars look more like micro machines <laughs> compared to the <laughs> compared to everything uh, everything in like twisted metal or whatever. Yeah, they are very silly looking on average. They're dinky. Yep. Very over designed. There's all sorts of parts sticking out of every car. It, it's they're over and under designed both at the same time. It's quite impressive. Yep. Totally. Yeah, visually they just kind of slapped this game together. They didn't have the years that uh, Twisted Metal had behind it. <laughs> yeah, and you you can see uh, what parts are made for, you know, graphical reasons rather than design, like the covered windows. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty obvious they just didn't want to render the inside and ha have all that mess. Yeah, to be fair, that was pretty common back in the PS1 days. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not uh, pissing on it, um, but it's kind of obvious. <laughs> There's the Prowler missiles, which uh, you're not going to see me use too often because they suck. <laughs> but we'll get a better look at one later where I don't just immediately shoot it into an invisible wall. I think you were trying to destroy the sign like in Twisted Metal. Yep, but there's an invisible wall. Yeah, of course there is. There is uh, something uh, inappropriately obvious with using a prowl uh, some a weapon with prowler in a school bus, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All the sorts of things this game intends. We can't make off-color jokes in this game because the game made them first. Yeah, I mean, using using a weapon called the prowler in a bus driven by a nun. That's that's too easy. It's kind of surprising how much they got away with in a T-rated game. Like, I'm surprised. They they actually censored one of the jokes about um, Dick Biggs's name namesake <laughs> in the uh, in the manual. It's it's even more vulgar what they say about him. That was the driver of Meat Wagon, by the way, <laughs> Dick Biggs. Well but the thing, it wasn't one of the like big n uh, ratings, uh, no-nos, blood. 
like that if you had blood in the game th that would be a really easy way to raise the rating to the next step but you know a lot harder since it has no cutscenes really um i don't count what we've seen so far there that's not cutscenes that's jokes and uh, there's no blood from the people I've, that i've seen yeah. <laughs> yeah no pedestrians so yeah i mean uh, I've, I've mentioned uh, in the uh, Twisted Metal 2012 let's play or uh, that uh, uh, the Carmageddon for N Nintendo handled mm. oh no you can't have blood so we make it green and all the civilians have zombies and I mean yeah it w that was enough the gameplay didn't really change as far as I know yeah apparently yeah, they just get away with surprise and vulgarity and the censors just wouldn't even read it well you know it's more about the implication Plus, they actually were allowed to print the name of the band Nashville Pussy in the instruction manual. Mm. And their uh, classic album, Let Them Eat. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Although I did find out that they did put that album in stores under the full name, Let Them Eat Pussy. So that, wow. that was probably the one you saw. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, it was um, pretty famous um, with the people that I hung around with back when I was a teenager. Yep. Um, everyone would pick it up in the uh, in the shop, but no one had the guts to buy it. <laughs> we just sit there staring in awe at this incredibly. Um, what's the, what's the best way to put it? Um, very uh, tasteless cover. <laughs> well, maybe tasteless isn't the right word, but you know. Uh, so, someone was getting a taste. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I can say that my dad made me very popular in middle school due to one of his favorite bands that he taught me to love, their album covers, D. Totten Hosen. Um, I don't know if you've heard of them. I'm familiar, I don't know their covers very well. What, what, what did it say? Dang it. I'm familiar with the band, I've never seen their album covers. Yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure they don't have those album covers in the US. There's a bunch <laughs> of nude people. Different nude people on every album, but there's a bunch of nude people, and no, they do not censor. Have you ever <laughs> heard of the band uh, Lords of Acid? Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I was actually listening to them earlier. Yep. Yeah, and you probably know where I'm, I'm going with that, because they had an album cover that was just a bunch of writhing nude succubuses. Yep. Um, they <laughs> had quite a few covers done by um, Coop, who's quite a famous um, cheesecake artist. Um, and again, like Nashville Pussy, their stuff is about as subtle as it gets. <laughs> yep. So I guess we should probably talk about the game a little bit. Um, <laughs> Wait, there's a game? Um, yeah. I'm, I'm enjoying the music podcast, to be honest. Yeah, me too. But um, <laughs> it's better than the music in this fucking game. Have you heard this? This is like Casio preset music. This is awful. <laughs> it's worse than the ska. Yeah, I, I'm tu I, I tune it out. Immediately. In games like this, I just put on my own playlist. Yep, me too, but it, it demands being commented, commented upon because people were really irritated by the music when this game came out. It was in all the reviews. So we've been collecting a shitload of money and we've been using it to buy upgrades and uh, car repairs and shit. Um, this game is basically an Uber driver simulator where you need to spend the money you make in order to continue making the money in order to spend it. It's a very vicious cycle. Yeah, but the customers are there. Uh, slightly. And you get to run them over if you don't like them. See, much better. Yeah. Um, question, did you use the shield in the last right, video? Go. Because you used it quite a bit here, I noticed. Yeah, I did not. Uh, the last level was much, much easier than this one. So I've, I've learned to use the energy attacks quite a bit more. And the levels get exponentially harder from here. Is it a complete shield or damage re m mitigation or what is it? It's just uh, your typical Twisted Metal invincibility shield. Ah. A couple of seconds. Can you use it when frozen? Um, I believe you actually can, yes. Ah. So that's yeah. actually the only way to, you know, stop the pain. No, the only way to stop the pain is turn the game off. <laughs> Still got the memories. <laughs> Not as long as I keep taking the drugs. 
And yeah, if you hit a tourist where you're driving too fast, they, they roll around like they just fell off a Katamari. It's pretty funny. <laughs> but uh, very important on screen there. We finished the level with more than $30,000. So they took that money away and they gave us an extra life for it instead. <laughs> Yay? Yeah. You begin every level the exact same way you finish the previous one. All you get is a health refill between levels. So if you lose lives, those lives are just gone, and you need to buy new ones. That seems extremely counterproductive. Oh yeah. You can totally fuck up your entire save and make the game unwinnable if you die, like, twice in the early levels. Which is to say, this is an incredibly difficult uh, car combat game. I'm gonna have a really hard time with this LP. Also, I liked how they didn't bother giving the driver, like, an actual animation. They just put in a JPEG of her. Yeah, and not a line. Or I thought everyone had at least one line. Her line was uh, when we... When you select them. Picked her at the character select screen, yeah. But the unique line in that cutscene was, uh, you can whack me with a ruler anytime. Exciting stuff. Anyway, okay. yeah. The, yeah. the level's over, but uh, it's time to see another character. There are 10 levels in this game, but 11 characters. So uh, we're never going to play as this character, and I wasn't going to show them off at all because this is a wow. homophobic and ableist joke. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah. Too bad, because I like the car. I'll put the hurt on him. It's one of those 90s jokes that is so homophobic that it becomes transphobic. <laughs> like, they just don't even know what they're making fun of. They're just uh, obscene and uh, hateful. The, the 90s were a different time. Yeah. Although there was a similar character in the film, Crank. Which is one of my favorites, but yeah. <laughs> Still haven't seen that. <laughs> it's your kind of movie, I'm surprised. Yeah, like, I generally love those kind of really stupid action movies, but I also really dislike Jason Statham for some reason. Oh, wow. Don't know why. I've a lot of really stupid movies. Yeah. Well, I've made my choice. I've actually only seen him in the Expendables movies. He's in that one, right? I believe he gets in them later on. Yeah, because I haven't seen him in any of those that my friends recommended uh, to me in a period when I didn't watch movies at all, otherwise. The reason I watched the Expendable, uh, the first Expendable movie, uh, or was it the second one, was because I, oh, Chris McCarpenter is in it. That's the reason. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're doing a different car every uh, video. This is the 11th, the odd one out, and yeah, I wasn't going to touch it at all because the character's so hateful. But uh, we needed some bonus content for this video because each level is also about 10 minutes long. <laughs> so I've got bonus content planned for every single video of this entire LP. Well, hopefully, no, hopefully some of the other bonus content isn't going to get slapped with um, some kind of lawsuit. Yep. Also copyright claimed because of the fucking ska music again. Um, I just uh, realized, uh, what was the special for the bus? The bus uh, was firing that halo, and ah. uh, yeah, the halo detonates when you hit the fire button again after it's deployed. Oh, so it's like Shadow Special in Twisted Metal 2. It is exactly like Shadow Special, yes. So uh, very good that they didn't make it a hearse. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only interesting thing about it was how it looked in the little yeah. chorus of angels. Yeah. And um, what, what's this special? This special, we've actually seen it a bunch of times. It's like a little, uh, there it was. It's like a little smear of fire that shoots out of the front. It looks like a rainbow. Mm. Yeah, I guess it does kind of look like a rainbow. Which uh. could be the intent considering <laughs> right. the character design. Yeah, I mean, it's called the Disrupto Ray. Make of that what you will. So his special is committing a hate crime every time he shows up, basically. Yep. Cool! And the effect that it has, um, it shakes the enemy vehicle around and sort of stun stuns them in place for a second or two. There it is. Wiggles them around like jello. It's oh, kind oh, of a I, cute animation. You, 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 you said that they didn't want to use the same kind of vehicle. So, okay, technically, that's not a cop car. It's an ambulance with the same special. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they no. basically like picked analogs from Twisted Metal. 
Uh, I went with that. Just dissimilar enough not to get them slapped with a lawsuit. Yes. This character, however, is vermin. We've never really seen a Volkswagen bug in Twisted Metal, so that's kind of unique. Did that one has the grasshopper? <sighs> <laughs> no, that's just a jump. That's not actually the oh, special okay. for that car. Yeah. <laughs> Bro did look like that. Uh, considering the vehicle, too. Yeah, her special has chickens. She fires chickens at people. <laughs> Again, the 90s were a different time. Okay, did not see that coming. And also, just to point it out, uh, Vermin, the name of this vehicle, was reused in Twisted Metal 2012 for the, uh, the pest control car. Much like Bee Wagon. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, desperately no. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the ending. Wow, a lot it's no, no. The vehicle was a lot thinner in the video, but I mean, yeah, graphical limitations again. So we unlock the Gulch level, which is another bonus level we'll see later in the game. Destroying Angel's password was double pickups. It's an actual cheat code that you can just enter and permanently have on your save file. That's hmm. actually kind of useful. Yeah, yeah, it really is. Makes repeated playthroughs of the game that much easier. But I'm not going to use it, because I don't uh, deserve to have things be easy. <laughs> Are we going to have to stage another intervention at some point? <laughs> I'm playing Road Trip, so probably. <laughs> you're already too far gone. I mean, yeah. I must say, you're really good at managing to find an escapist hobby that actually could be considered worse than real life this year. It, it's <laughs> a talent. 